Who is Monzo? In this world of instant notification and quick same day delivery, nothing is more outdated, slow and sluggish than the banking sector. And that is why we're looking at a company who's really given everyone a run for their money in the UK sector. For this video, we'll look at the man behind Monzo, the CEO, Tom Blomfield. Coming up in a minute. Hey, it's Gagan from Smart Public Speaker, helping you build more confidence in public speaking, storytelling, and leadership. If you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel, and let's get into the video. 1986 in Hong Kong, a, a bird just delivered a little kid named Tom Blomfeld to this family. His father used to manage large infrastructures, and his mom was an artist. At the age of 10, Tom moved from Hong Kong to England, and when he was just 14, he landed his first job, working at an estate agent. On his first day, Tom was asked to deliver leaflets door to door on this rainy, wet, dull December day. After delivering this leaflets, Tom definitely did not want to do that. He sat down with his boss and he said, how about I build you a website? And the boss agreed. Tom got paid 250 pound and he thought he was a rich man. That website still exists today. Tom went on to study law in Oxford University. After graduating, Tom went to work for one consultancy and before he was promoted to another one, in between, Tom with the help of his friend co-founded a company called Go Cardless. The aim of this company was to help small to medium businesses accept recurring payments from their clients. Go Cardless managed to make it to Y Combinator. Now, Y Combinator is like a booster for startups and he helps them find exposure and helps them find funding for their idea. Using Y Combinator, Tom and his friends flew over to San Francisco where he lived in a really rough area and the food was terrible. But what did came out as a result was he was able to have lunch and dinner with some of the biggest name in Silicon Valley. Go Cardless was really nice, but he couldn't use it every day. So while he was there, he interviewed and got a job at a dating company where he worked for one year. Comparing the two together, he found out that here's a dating app, but I use this every day. However, the Go Cardless, I can't use it every day. A year later, with the help of his friends, he helped found Mondo. Mondo is a real-time banking app, and this one even has instant notification and emoticon support. Any startup comes with a lot of uncertainty. Well, this one came up with three of its own unique challenges. The first one was that the banking industry is really regulated, so Mondo was not allowed to operate like a standard bank and give out debit cards. Instead, Mondo used the prepaid cards where you put the money in and you could go and spend it as you wish. The second problem Mondo had was that the name Mondo was already taken and they weren't allowed to use Mondo anymore. And the third problem was, yes, they were growing quite fast, but these, their customer base was also racking up a lot of ATM fees overseas, which Mondo had to soak in. Tom Blomfield led a team of entrepreneurs to head in the right direction despite this outcome. And what ended up happening in the end was, uh, recently, Mondo was awarded a full banking license, which meant they could operate like a normal bank. They actually launched a Twitter campaign with the help of a hashtag, and the customers helped them find a new name, which was Monzo. So what was it that made this startup really stand out against the other startups that fail in similar situation? The first one was giving their customers total visibility and control. Mondo, unlike other banks, actually uses an online forum, which is open. And Monzo also does not do any marketing, but most of their customers come from word of mouth. Monzo has built such a buzz in this country when they needed to raise some funds. They broke the Crowdcube record by raising $2 million in just 96 seconds. As we speak right now, Monzo is about to hit 500,000 cardholder. Euro Commission awarded him the best entrepreneur for 30 under 30. And that was a success story of Monz Mondo or Monzo as we now know it. The question of the day today is what keeps a startup growing despite, their, despite losing millions and millions of pounds every year? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for checking out this channel. Make sure you definitely subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'm Gagan Singh, smart public speaker, helping you gain more confidence in public speaker, leadership, and storytelling. Mark Zuckerberg was, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg was there. Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg was there.